been non-stop spraying. So we gotta get to spraying on a couple of fields today. We got a quarter of an inch, actually a little bit over a quarter of an inch last night of rain. Um, so I don't think where we're going is gonna be too wet, but everything else is. Filling up now with chemical and then we'll be heading out really see it but we're heading off into that general direction. <laughs> hey there's one of my cold points. Alright we made it to the sprayer. It's got the booms folded out and we're about to take off to go spray. I know the basics. Um, it's just kind of cool to watch the whole process. It's really interesting to me. Okay made it to the field and now he's lowering the booms and we're about to take off in the same tracks that he hit up last year. So Kind of neat to watch the booms go down like that. Who commented on one of my videos the other day when I was running through the sprinkler? And they're like, you know, they inject chemicals in there. <laughs> We're injecting them right now. <laughs> yeah. I have to like kind of focus on this on these fields because they're very, very rolly. This is a really rolly field. Which we're going really slow. We don't have the auto boom line. Most of our fields are really flat, so we don't really need it. So you're saying there's no chance that I get to do this by myself? <laughs> <laughs> Not in this field. <laughs> yeah. Not in this field. You didn't help combine this one, I don't think. No. I would have remembered. Thank you. I didn't even explain what we were doing. He kind of, you kind of said what we were doing. He was turning that on so that that sprinkler can get out of the way. But by the time we get done spraying half of this circle, it's not going to be out of the way. So we're going to have to move to the other field and do that half. Show the people some sweet sand that we get to farm. Because we got three tenths of rain last night. It's very sandy. Farming on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Like or I said, it, it just like. rained last night and we're yeah. out here already. So before anyone gives us a hard time about not spraying down the rows, uh, we're on 20 inch. We have a 20 inch planter and do 20 inch corn. And in a sandy hilly field like this, it is just, it's next to impossible to stay down the row. I think staying down the row on 30s, 30 inch rows would be pretty tough in a field like this. It's just so sandy. Which and, sounds weird to say. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just... It's tough, and, we're, and I don't even spray fast in this field. It's so rolly. I usually go pretty slow and give myself time to make adjustments, keep the boom from hitting the ground. I would say so I before would. anyone gives us a hard time, I've seen other videos where people give people hard time when they're not spraying down the rows, calling them lazy and stuff. Yeah. I, I did last year. I tried, and I just don't feel like it worked out in this field. I feel like I ran over more corn than if I just set an angle and spray. Yeah. So this year we got a bigger boom on our we got a big different sprayer, bigger boom, less passes. I just think we still run over less doing it like this than if we try to follow the rope. It gives me anxiety. Like part of me is like, I want y'all to see how much our stomach drops when you see the boom get really close to the ground. But I don't want that to happen. We're on really we're on we're coming down a big hill right now. This is now. like the flat part. You can't really see it, yeah. And, and there'll be people saying, oh, that's not hilly. Yeah. I understand. But for us, where we live, it's yeah. extremely, <laughs> extremely flat. This is a mountain. So these, these like, rolly sand knobby hills are yeah. they're not, pretty intense exactly. for us. Exactly, yeah. Especially when you learn how to spray on, like, Kansas flat. Yeah, I understand. There's hillier places. I totally get it. Yeah. We just have, like, two circles here that are just, they're a handful. It's really sad that have to like we'll show you when we get up that. here yeah we'll just kind of show you yeah we've already sprayed our pre-emerge um herbicide which is basically killing whatever weeds we can before the corn comes up this is our post-emerge just like it sounds yeah spray it after the corn has all came up this is kind of our last chance to get any weeds held back before it before canopies. it all canopies out yeah. shades out the ground and then hopefully it does its own thing of holding the weeds back booms are going up 
yeah. we're heading to the next half of the field, like yeah, I said, just, across the highway. Normally we spray the whole circle, but um, I put on a lap of fertilizer and this pivot isn't in the right spot yeah. to spray, so it's still got a long ways to move. So instead of spraying around it or messing with it, running over more corn, we'll just jump across the road. How long do you think it'll take for it to move? Uh, shoot, an hour and a half, probably. I just don't like waiting on the pivot if I don't have to. Or spraying around Especially it or because whatever. I just... the next field is right there, too. And normally we kind of set them up. If we know we're going to spray, we'll kind of move them ahead of time and get them close. But like I said, we just put a lap of fertilizer on this, and that's just too much to try to balance out. It's not like it's big rolling hills. They're just like really steep, really nasty sand hills. Yeah. Really building this up when it's really not a big deal. <laughs> a hill. Wow. Wow. People from Kansas be like, <laughs> guys, look at this. <laughs> Everybody stop and look. Nice. Yeah, if I was praying, I'd probably just take that thing out. <laughs> Oh, thing goes way deep in the ground, so yeah, we take the think, boom out. Yeah, the boom would be getting taken out, not that. Deep. Anyways, that was our hill. <laughs> yep, that was it. That was it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe, Subscribe for more exciting content. <laughs> hey, there's our house. Yeah. I'm gonna blur it out. <laughs> Like anybody could ever tell where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least back to the moon uh... Oh, I'll turn her on so she can get the heck out of the way. We got actually a spleen. It's called a fence rope. What? Yeah, a fence rope nozzle. nozzle. But I usually kick it on when I go around the pivot. Yeah, this is snake season, so I'm looking all over the ground. There's holes everywhere from those rats, and I just feel like rattlesnakes like it everywhere. Yeah, mud hole out here. That's rare. Look at that. Wow. There's a pond. <laughs> it's a Kansas pond. A naturally occurring pond in the middle of the corn. Okay, so I left him alone after that first load. He ended up spraying quite a bit that day. I'm not sure I'm ready to learn how to drive the sprayer, but I still had fun showing you guys. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one, bye.